If x plus 2 is a factor of the polynomial 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 4, factor this polynomial. Let's call p x to represent 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 4. Since x plus 2 is a factor, we know that if we divide px by x plus 2, we would get some quotient qx and the remainder will be 0. We would then be able to write px as the divisor times the quotient. For our case, we have px equal to 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 4. To divide that by x plus 2, divide the leading term of the dividend by the leading term of the divisor. And you would have 2x squared. Multiply 2x squared into the divisor you would get 2x cubed, and I will write minus 2x cubed, plus 4x squared, and I will write minus 4x squared. If we add these two expressions, 2x cubed and minus 2x cubed will cancel each other, and we're going to be left with x squared minus 4. Divide the leading term by the leading term of the divisor and you will have x multiply x into the divisor you would get x squared right minus x squared plus 2x right minus 2x add these two expressions x squared and minus x squared will cancel each other and you would have minus 2x minus 4 divide the leading term which is minus 2x by x, which is the leading term of the divisor, and you would have minus 2. Minus 2 times x, that's minus 2x, and I will write plus 2x. Minus 2 times 2 is minus 4, and I will write plus 4. If we add these two expressions, we would get 0. Now, we can say that px is equal to the divisor, which is x plus 2, times the quotient, which is 2x squared plus x minus 2. Now our job is to factor 2x squared plus x minus 2. If we can find two numbers that, when added, they end up 1, and when multiplied, they end up 2 times minus 2, which is minus 4. We can then easily factor this expression. However, by trial and error, we can see that it is not easy to come up with these two numbers. The reason is that the roots in this case are not integers. That's why they are hard to figure out. If you're dealing with a situation like that, we can use the following. a x squared plus b x plus c can always be factored as a, which is the coefficient of x squared, times x minus x plus times x minus x minus x plus and then x minus are the roots of this polynomial which can be found using the quadratic formula x plus and minus are equal to minus b plus and minus root b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a x plus 
stands for when we have the plus here and x minus stands for when we have the minus sign here let's apply this theorem to our example the roots of 2x squared plus x minus 2 equal to 0 are x plus and minus are minus b plus or minus root b squared minus 4 ac divided by 2a that is minus 1 plus or minus root under under the root we have 1 plus 16 which is 17 divided by 4 we have our two roots right now if we go back to our expression we had px equal to x plus 2 times 2x squared plus x minus 2. Therefore, we can write this as x plus 2. And for the quadratic expression inside this bracket, we can write 2 times x minus the first root. You can choose either x plus or x minus. I will use x minus. Minus 1 minus root 17 divided by 4 times x minus minus 1 plus root 17 divided by 4. We can write this as 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 1 plus root 17 divided by 4 times x plus 1 minus root 17 divided by 4. What I have done is factor a negative 1 here and multiply by this negative sign and factor a negative 1 from both of these terms and multiply it into this negative sign. This is the final factored form of px. It could be used, for instance, to solve inequalities involving px. For example, if you're interested to solve px less than or equal to 0, or px greater than 0, for instance.